Great to you everyone. Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated in my latest videos. Today class, we are going to discuss about finding areas of a trapezoid. Remember according to the book that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides. Quadrilaterals, WXYZ, we have first here in our drawing. A, B, C, D, we have first here, are what we call trapezoids. A trapezoids class is it what we call an equal pair of sides, or what we call has four sides. Remember, in this video lesson, you will watch and learn how you can find the area of trapezoid or how you are going to solve it. But remember, to unlock this lesson, you must keep on watching my videos. We have first a formula class in getting the, what we call the trapezoid. A is area, base 1 plus base 2, that is B1 plus B2, divide 2, then we're going to multiply to height in order to find the right answer. So we have first here a drill which is, I'm going to give you the given measures. All we have to do is to follow first our formula. Number one, we have... Okay, direction says find the area of trapezoids with the given measures. We have number one, 13.2 meter for bay one, 9.2 meter, 9 meter for bay two, height is 4 meter. Then the question is that we're going to find the area. That's m squared, that is meter squared. Okay, we're going to solve it number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay. We're going to start solving problem number one. I have a scratch paper or another sheet of paper to show you how to solve it. Okay, for number one, let's start for the formula. I'm going to write the formula class so that you can follow it. B1 plus B2 divide 2 times height. Okay, let's proceed to number one. We have B1 is 13.2 meter, that's unit of measurement. B2 is 9 meters. So we're going to plus it. Okay, that's a formula. So once we plus it of x0, we're going to divide it. 2, 9 plus 3, that's 12 class. Regroup, so 22.2 for our base 1 and base 2. The next thing after this is we're going to divide by 2. So we have first our dividend 22.2. Our divisor is 2. So first here, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 2. We have 2. We subtract it to so 0 plus. Bring down 2 again. Divide to 2. We have 1. So we have 2. Then 0. We have first a decimal point, bring down again 2, I'll make it bigger, 2 divide 2, we have 1, times 2, we have 2. So that's continuation division to get the final answer for the given measure for number 1. So now, after dividing it, we're going to multiply to height, which is 14 meter. Yun po yung pang last. So we have phrase here, that will be the last, so that we can get the final answer. So we have 11... Point 0.1, I'm going to make it clear, guys, 14 meter. So we are going to multiply that. Actually, this matter, matter. So 1 times 4, guys, so 4, we are going to count it 3, 4. And then 1 multiplied to 1, we have first uh, triple 1. Plus million, guys, we have to add, bring down 4. 4 plus 1, so we have 5. 4 plus 1, we have 5 and 1. So the decimal point is 1. So our answer is 155.4 meters squared for number 1. This will be our answer for number 1. So I'm going to write here for number 1 is 155.4 meters squared for number 1. Okay. Next, we are going to proceed to number 2. Another sheet, guys. This will be our unsolving problem. So we have first, we're going to find it the final answer. For number two, same procedure. 
Given base 1, 39 cm, base 2, 25 cm, height 18 cm. So we're going to write here the final answer for the area of a trapezoid. So same formula, guys. A is equal to B1 plus B2 over 2 times height. Please follow. So number 1, we have 39 for number 2, V1, 39 cm. So we're going to plus, guys, to 25. That's our procedure. So we're going to plus that. So 14, regroup 1, guys. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we have 64 centimeters. Now we are going to divide it by 2. So I think dito na lang po natin. We're going to write here, guys. Yan. So 6 divide 2, guys. We know that's 3. So multiply that. So that's 6. So that's 0. Bring down 4, guys. Divide by 2. This is step-by-step -step procedure, guys. So we have, we're going to write 2 times 2 again. So 4. So it's continuous division. So that's 0. So 32. What is next, teacher Ram? So we're going to multiply to height. I'm going to write, guys, so that it is clear for you. May there are students, parents, and viewers. Times 8, 10. Correct me if I'm mistaken, guys. So multiply that. 2 times 8 is 16. If I'm not mistaken, regroup 1. Don't forget to count your regrouping number. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Next, guys, multiply for a second digit to 1 times 2, we have 2, then 3. Then don't forget to add, my dear viewers. Please keep on watching my video. 6, 5 plus 2, 7, 2 plus 3, guys, is 5. Chiram, is that the final answer? Yes. So I'm going to write here centimeter squared. This will be for our number 2, guys. So we have our area is 5. 176 centimeters squared. Hope you can follow it. That's very what you call the unique ways or simple ways on how to find the area of trapezoids. Next, number three, guys. We have given B1 4.5 meters. So this is point and it's guys 2.8 meter. Then times divide, then you are going to multiply to height, which is 9 meter po. Okay. Let's have first here, guys. Okay, so number three. So I'm going to fold it. Okay, for number three, guys. So number three. 4.5 M plus 2.8 M. This is our B1, B2. So all we have to do is to add 5 plus 8. So we have 13 regroup guys. 4 plus 1, 5, 6, 7. So don't forget to count the regroup number so that your answer is correct. 7.3 guys. So we're going to continue. Next in our what we call formula, we're going to divide it. 7.3 guys. Divide by 2. Start with 7 because 7 is greater than 2. So it's okay. Divide by 2, guys. So we are going to write 3 times 2. We have 6. We are going to subtract, guys, 7 to 6. So 1. So we're going to write here different points. So we're going to write 3. So 13 times 2. So we have, divide to rather. So we have 5 times 2. We have 10. So we have. Okay. So 3. So 6, 13. Divide 2. 5, 10. Okay, so I have 3 again. Okay, so we're going to add 0 here. Okay, so we have fears here. 7, so 3, 6. Then 3, 13, to 5, 10. 3. Okay, so here. Let's continue. It's, okay, so... This will be continued for our answer for number three. Okay, so we're going to do it again, guys. I will make it clear. 7.3 divide 2 again. So we have 3 to make it clear. So 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1. 
So can it be four? So we're going to divide it. Bring down three. That's 13 divided by two is five. Seven. Okay, we have first year six rather to make it one. One. So bring out, bring down zero again to make a fix. So 10 divided by two is five. This will be our final answer, guys. 10, sorry for that moment. Okay. So I'm make it clear because for another it's a quietly mistake. So I'm going to write it properly so that viewers can understand it. So our final answer is 3.65 for number three. So we're going to write here 3.65 meters squared. Okay, that was for number three. So that okay, sorry for that guys. So now we proceed to number four. Okay, our number four we have what we called 24 meter B1, base two is 80% of B1. So first we're going to write number four, 24 meter for B1. So we're going to get first the 80% of 24. So point eight times 24, we're going to write 24 times point eight. So we have eight times four. 32 so 3 16 plus 3 so we have 19.2 guys so this will be our b2 80% of 24 so we're going to write here 19.2 base 2 so we're going to add so add 0 so we're going to 9 plus 4 13 regroup guys that's 4 Okay, so we have freeze here for point thirty-two. Okay, so we're going to divide it. Divide two. So for divide two, the answer is two times two. We have four. So bring down three, divide two, we have one times two. So 3 subtract to 2, we have 1. Bring down 2, so 12. Divide 2, we have 6. Times 2, we have 12. Okay, our answer is 2.16. But we're going to multiply it to our height, which is 8 meter for number 4. So 2.16, guys, times 8 meter. Okay. 6 times 8, this is 48. Regroup 4, guys. 1 times 8 is 8. Then you add 4. So we have 12, 1, 2 times 8, 16, plus 1 is 17. Okay, so 1, 2, 1, 2, so. We have our answer is 17.28. Our number 4. Next, for number 5, the given is that, for number 5, base 1, first AM, base 2, 7 centimeter. Next, okay, for height is 3 CM, okay. We're going to add 4 CM, this is our base 1, plus 7 CM, we have 11 La, divide by 2 then times sign divide 2 so 11 so we have 5 so we have 10 okay so bring down 1 so since 1 cannot be so we have decimal point we add 0 so 10 divide 2 we have 5 okay so 10 so 5.5 guys the result so multiply to a 3 cm Five, I'll make it bigger times three centimeter five times three guys 15 regroup one times three 15 plus one is 16 so one to one okay 16.5 centimeter our final answer from two number five 16.5 centimeter okay hope you follow guys for our discussion today about finding areas of trapezoids but remember as i've said earlier 
this is important for us to solve or to find the areas of trapezoid and to master of course what we called the formula in getting the what we called the trapezoid so we have to master the formula a is equal to b1 plus b2 divide 2 times i if there is certain case or problems you might you might get confused your answer just like what i did uh well go so all you have to do you can recheck it you can solve it again and then you can find the right answer okay hope guys did you understand our topic for today so don't forget to subscribe to Ram's tutorial channel God bless everyone. Bye-bye and see you for my next videos. Thank you.